They say the clock tower holds a secret. Every full moon, it awakens at midnight. And unleashes something unspeakable. Through a swirling portal, a young soul steps onto an alien world, holding the key to its salvation and her own destiny. The perpetual mist of Hollow Creek clung to the cobblestones like a spectral shroud, obscuring the base of the imposing clock tower. Its hands, eternally frozen at midnight, stood as a stark reminder of the town's forgotten past. Whispers of a hidden message, encoded within the tower's chimes, had kept the townsfolk at bay for generations. But Ava, a teenager with fiery red hair that mirrored the flames of her insatiable curiosity, was undeterred by the whispers of fear. As the clock struck twelve, a melody unlike any bell toll echoed through the deserted square. Its notes, infused with an otherworldly power, vibrated deep within Ava, resonating on a primal level. The final note acted as a key, triggering a hidden mechanism within the tower's weathered facade. A section of the wall beside the clock face swung open, revealing a narrow passage shrouded in impenetrable darkness. With a deep breath, Ava shouldered her backpack and stepped into the unknown, the heavy stone door slamming shut behind her with a finality that reverberated through the passage. The passage twisted and turned like a forgotten memory struggling to recall its origin. Cobwebs, like ghostly fingers, brushed against her face, whispering tales of the past. The air grew thick with the musty scent of ages past, each footstep echoing through the oppressive silence, a lonely counterpoint to the pounding of her own heart. The silence wasn't absolute, however. Somewhere deeper within the tower, ancient gears ground against one another in a symphony of rust, a testament to the passage of time and the relentless march of history. Finally, the passage opened into a hidden chamber, bathed in the ethereal glow of moonlight filtering through dusty windows. It was a treasure trove of forgotten history, leather-bound tomes, their pages whispering stories of a bygone era, lined the walls, their spines cracked and faded. In the center of the chamber stood a pedestal, holding a tarnished silver pocket watch, its hands mirroring the frozen time of the clock tower above. As Ava approached the watch, an inscription on the pedestal sent chills dancing down her spine, the hands of time hold the key. Only the Chosen One can unlock the melody's decree. Chosen One? The words echoed in the vast emptiness of the chamber, igniting a spark of wonder and trepidation within her. Could this be true? Was she, a simple teenager, truly destined for something more? With a hand that trembled only slightly, she carefully opened the watch. Nestled amongst the dust lay a miniature mechanism resembling a delicate musical box. Its gears and levers were intricately intertwined, a testament to the forgotten ingenuity of its creator. Could this be the key to unlocking the secrets of the tower? As she hesitantly touched the mechanism, a surge of energy pulsed through her fingertips, a connection forged between her and the forgotten past. The gears were to life, and a hauntingly beautiful melody filled the chamber, each note resonating with an otherworldly power. As the final note faded, the air shimmered, revealing a holographic map etched with cryptic symbols. Ava's breath hitched. The clock tower's secret had been revealed. But the true adventure, the journey to decipher the map's hidden message, had just begun. The tower that once served as a symbol of fear now stood bathed in the pale moonlight, no longer a menacing silhouette but a beacon of hope, urging Eva forward. With a newfound resolve burning in her eyes, she stood ready to face the challenges that lay ahead. The weight of the tower's secret felt heavy on her young shoulders, but the thrill of the unknown fueled her spirit. She was no longer just a curious teenager, she was the chosen one, and the fate of the tower's hidden message lay in her hands. Now, 
Armed with the map and a newfound determination, Ava was prepared to step out of the shadows and into the heart of the mystery, ready to unravel the secrets that the clock tower had held captive for generations. Ava traced the intricate lines of the holographic map, her brow furrowed in concentration. The symbols danced before her eyes, their meaning as elusive as the mist that clung to Hollow Creek. One symbol, a stylized eye, seemed to pulse with an otherworldly light, drawing her gaze inwards. As she focused on it, the map shimmered, revealing a hidden passage within the chamber itself. A concealed lever, disguised as a decorative flourish on the pedestal, activated with a satisfying click. The floor beneath her feet rumbled, revealing a narrow staircase that spiraled downwards into the darkness. Taking a deep breath, Ava shouldered her backpack and descended, the weight of the unknown pressing down on her. The air grew colder and staler with each step down the damp, moss-covered stairs. The flickering beam of her flashlight danced across ancient stone walls adorned with faded murals, their faded colors depicting forgotten scenes from the town's history. The murals whispered tales of a once thriving community, their harmony marred by a chilling event depicted in the final panel a monstrous creature, its form barely discernible, wreaking havoc upon the town. The staircase opened into a vast cavern, its natural rock ceiling adorned with shimmering crystals that cast an ethereal glow. In the center stood a monolithic structure, resembling a sundial, its surface etched with cryptic symbols that mirrored those on the map. As Ava approached, the inscription on the pedestal echoed in her mind, the hands of time hold the key. A sudden tremor shook the cavern, sending dust raining down from the ceiling. The sundial hummed with an unknown energy, its central gnomon casting a long shadow across the chamber floor. Guided by the map and a newfound sense of purpose, Ava placed the pocket watch onto the sundial, its hands aligning perfectly with the markings etched upon its surface. A blinding light erupted from the sundial, momentarily engulfing the chamber. When the light faded, Ava found herself standing before a shimmering portal, its surface rippling like a mirage. Through the portal, she could glimpse a fantastical landscape, bathed in an alien light. A sense of awe and trepidation warred within her. This was the heart of the mystery, the secret the clock tower had guarded for centuries. Taking a deep breath, Ava stepped forward, her resolve hardening with each step. The portal pulsed, bathing her in its otherworldly light, and then, with a final ripple, swallowed her whole. The weight of the unknown pressed down upon her, but the thrill of discovery fueled her spirit. She was no longer just a curious teenager, she was the chosen one, and the fate of the town, perhaps even the world, rested on her shoulders. As she disappeared into the portal, the cavern fell silent once more, the only sound the echoing drip of water and the faint hum of the sundial, a silent testament to the unfolding adventure. In the heart of the mystery, subscribe to our channel for more chilling tales. Hit that subscribe button now and don't miss a single scare. Ava tumbled through the portal, a kaleidoscope of vibrant colors swirling around her. When the disorientation subsided, she found herself standing on a lush green meadow, bathed in the warm glow of two suns hanging low in the sky. Strange, bioluminescent flora dotted the landscape casting an ethereal glow in the twilight. The air thrummed with an unfamiliar energy, alien yet strangely invigorating. In the distance, a towering structure, resembling a crystalline castle, pierced the clouds. Its spires glittered like diamonds in the double sun's light, beckoning Eva forward. As she approached, she noticed figures moving within the castle windows, their forms humanoid yet shrouded in an otherworldly glow. A wave of anxiety washed over her. Was she friend or foe in this strange land? Taking a deep breath, she steeled her nerves and called out, her voice echoing eerily in the vastness of the meadow. A figure emerged from the castle gates, its form cloaked in shimmering light. As it drew closer, Ava recognized the stylized eye symbol from the map in the sundial. 
The being's voice, though unfamiliar, resonated with a deep wisdom. Welcome, chosen one, it boomed, its voice echoing in her mind rather than through her ears. You have come at a critical time. Our world is on the brink of destruction, threatened by the same darkness that once plagued yours. Ava's heart pounded in her chest. The whispers of the murals, the monstrous creature, it was all real. But how could she, a simple teenager from Hollow Creek, possibly help? As if sensing her doubt, the being continued, the pocket watch you carry holds the key. It was crafted by the last of our kind, imbued with the power to banish the darkness. But it requires a pure heart and unwavering courage to unlock its full potential. Ava looked down at the watch held tightly in her hand. A surge of determination coursed through her. She may not have known how, but she would find a way. The story of Ava's journey in this fantastical land, her trials and triumphs, her ultimate confrontation with the encroaching darkness, that is a tale for another time. But in that moment, under the twin suns of an alien world, a simple teenager from Hollow Creek stood on the precipice of destiny, the weight of an entire world resting on her young shoulders. The fate of two worlds hung in the balance, and Ava, the chosen one, was ready to face the challenge.